All right, everybody, uh, this is the part of the iPad tutorial where we mapped the interface movie or the app movie we created onto the actual animation of the iPhone we have here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this using time remapping. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to time, enable time remapping. Now you'll notice that it's introduced these two key frames here. And what that allows me to do is move this in time to about two seconds. It's going to allow me to add static time at the beginning, at the end of the movie, as much as I might need. So if we were to zoom back on this a moment and drag through our timeline, you'll notice that to the left of the first keyframe and then to the right of the right keyframe, the phone remains static. So it's the point in time in which we want to map our movie to the front of the iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll go over and I'll get the iPad movie that we created for our screen. Uh, see if we can find that. Okay, I'm going to click. I'm going to drag that and put it on like so. I want to scale it down to fit to the front of the iPhone. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on S. And I'll start to scale this down a bit. Okay. And I'll place it like so. Now I want this to begin where the animation stops. So it's going to go here. So now if I drag through, there's my iPhone. Now we did one other thing. We kind of went in and we kind of had this fade in. So I'll go to the beginning of the iPhone screen movie. I'll hit T for transparency, drop the first key frame, make the opacity zero, and I'll move forward two seconds. And I'll return the opacity back to 100%. All right, now just as I had uh, put time remapping on the animation of the phone, I can also put that on the screen uh, movie. And I can extend the time of that last frame out to a static point in time as well. If I need to keep that on screen, which we did, if you recall, in the tutorial when we introduced the satellite. So I'll simply right click on the screen movie. Once again, I'll go to time, enable time remapping, and I'll simply drag the last frame out. And if I were to drag through, you can see once again that that remains on screen static based on the uh, length of that last static frame. I'm going to command us to save. And I think that concludes this part of our tutorial.